Pink Fohawk is a crass, vulgar, violent, raunchy podcast that is meant for immature adult audiences only. Content warning is available in the description. Welcome to Pink Fohawk. <laughs> I start it. Hit it! <laughs> Welcome to Big Fuck, everybody! hey Hey. We've been getting a lot of art rolling in. We've been getting playlists on Spotify rolling in. Our fans are hungry for more. Really? Oh, yeah. And I gotta say, I'm gonna, I gotta shout out a particular fan of ours who's awesome. He's, uh, uh, I don't know his name, but he... <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's Critical Fault. Critical Fault. Critical Fault. <laughs> Critical Fault, <laughs> and he has been archiving Shadowrun tools from online from, like, the fucking 90s era. He, like, finds them. He finds, like, the databases. He uploads them to his site, nolsheen.com or .net yeah. or something. I'm going to post it underneath our episode so you guys can see the yeah. information. Custom built me an initiative tracker. Yeah. He custom built a 2E matrix node map Woo. that anyone can use. I Jeez. highly, highly recommend it. I don't know what any of that is, but it sounds... No, I don't know what really any of that is. is. <laughs> Not interesting to anybody on this podcast but me, but the people oh, listening no, I think would it love it. actually would be very interesting to anyone listening. <laughs> yeah, to anyone listening will love it. <laughs> Probably. Everyone... Oh, you mean anyone on the podcast. Now I got you. Correct, correct. No one on this podcast but No, me. you're right. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank you, Critical Fault, for doing that. Uh, and then also thank you to all of our fans sending all the... Fucking awesome art. Oh, oh. Okay, so we got some very sexual. I, I really like the one with John and, and Jan Hammer. That was that was that just, was sweet. That wasn't that sexual. Was that was just cool. That Graphic was... novel esque. It was yeah. Um, whoever did that, I'm just gonna say that's the best that I've seen. I think that was AI. I think that was AI art. God well, damn it. I believe it. Thanks, Chat GPT, for being <laughs> better than any human. Thank you, Chat GPT. They're getting good at the cues. That's what it is. Boston Chummer on our Discord, he makes the 3D art. He did like Tina sitting in Santa's oh. chair with so Sue has the little elf helper. <laughs> that was a good one. Oh, yeah. That was really fucking weird. <laughs> it gets weird. I love it. Point, weird points. And the, and the picture of uh, fucking uh, Tina's thighs we're seeing from behind her thighs. Yes. And she's got the watermelons. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> so freaking weird. That was good. That was awesome. And we asked and we received. We received it all over the place. A fucking <laughs> smut. We got some some pink fox <laughs> smut written for us, which I is read pretty hilarious. I read it too. And it was I thought it was a little tame, but then I think I figured out there was more to the story, like in a different link that I didn't click yet. Oh, was no, that was, also AI, or is that legitimately? How do we know that was handcrafted? That was one handcrafted <laughs> passion project. So Dan, you read the tame one. That was very soft core. There's one that gets saucy. I ain't scared. Nice. <laughs> And they, res on, they respected our canon. Like, there's no one fucking each other. There's just fucking going on, <laughs> and there's there's voyeurism, and there's all kinds of creepy but awesomeness. No mixed meats. No weirdness going on. <laughs> mixed meats. Wow. <laughs> well, keep that keep that coming. I've been wanting this T-shirt of John and Tina like back to back as like an '80s action movie kind of setting fucking tina's got her big old fucking guns bulging or some shit and <laughs> john's just smoking a cigar with his sunglasses on at night a and cigar. something cool and i feel like if we can get like some fans out there to compete on the best <laughs> Dude, people do of that. that and we just say we put that on t-shirts and that'll be our t-shirt i like it a contest it's like a true 90s like mail it in like a fan club <laughs> yeah they need to collect like upcs of like Kraft macaroni and cheese. You have 10 UPCs of Kraft macaroni and cheese plus your artwork and a $10 bill. Yeah, send your UPCs from Zima boxes. Send those in. Or photos of your receipts where you purchased watermelons. And we will allow you to enter this contest. We should actually make people mail shit. I, we need to get a P.O. box Dude, we somewhere. we have official for... rules. We need official rules. <laughs> I love that. Are we doing Shadow Facts, by the Fuck way? Fuck yeah, let's do it. Wait, are we? Wait, we're playing. We're playing a game. We're playing a game because I I don't actually have one, and we should probably intro our characters first. Let's start with Justin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin. Uh, I play uh, Sosie Twig. He's a Decker. He's a convenience store worker, and <laughs> he's a uh, slightly more into it Shadow Runner now. Yeah, man. <laughs> Because he's murdered nice. people. It's growing on him. <laughs> he chopped a person in half in last episode with a monofilament yep. whip. Yep, vaporized somebody. Dude, shit got wild. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I haven't done this in a long time. 
Uh, hey, Shadow Punks, my name's Dan. I play Tina Farnmere. Just a mountain of meaty troll muscle out here looking for a friend, cracking skulls and crushing balls, Woo. baby. By the way, when you preface it with, I haven't done this in a long time, it sounds like you totally did it in the mirror this morning. No, I didn't. <laughs> I like I got a little panic <laughs> moment there because I was like, I'm going to... I was like, I don't know, I protest too much. I'm losing my voice because I've been talking like Tina for the last eight hours just in preparation <laughs> for this. Put your kids to Wonderful bed. night. Uh, my name's... Christian and I play John Anderson, who's a typical yuppie '80s businessman, and I guess he runs a cult that we haven't followed that storyline for a long time. And I, I don't really know what he's doing. I guess his name was J Bone. He used to run some drugs yep. down in the Bahamas or whatever. I don't, I don't even fucking know anymore. But he's an asshole, and he's Name's he's J Bone kid. He's pretty cool. Pretty cool. A weird admission at the end. He's pretty cool. And I, I wish I was him. <laughs> <laughs> My wife does too. <laughs> nice. Well, thank you guys for introducing your characters and, You're and doing it so well. And Dan, it sounds like you probably have a shadow fact. I got one. Yes. Yeah, so Tina <laughs> is uh, red green I colorblind. I like that segue. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys didn't know, it's very common for trolls to be red, green, colorblind uh, in, in Shadowrun. I actually just made that up. That's not true at all. But I was going to say, is that in <laughs> is that part of the memory? Was that in the memory section? Funny, because the troll killers' colors are red and green. Are they? Ooh. I remember that from episode one. So That's why Tina couldn't tell who they were <laughs> on the lookout. Oh, oh shit. Closer. Tina's wow. staring at these that, great uniforms. That's exactly what I attended with the shadow <laughs> fact. Jesus Christ. That no, she's, uh, she's red, green, colorblind, but she also suffers from a condition called chromesthesia, where when you hear certain sounds, you see colors. It's like a crossover of the senses. <laughs> Even though she's never seen red, she's like 90% sure she sees red when she hears an audible fart. That's her uh, <laughs> her perception of the color red. And she has no barometer for it otherwise. Interesting. So that. not brown. Not brown. Red. Not brown. Beautiful. Wow. The human brain is a beautiful thing, or a troll brain. Some it say is. they're humans, but I don't. Chris, do you have <laughs> any shadow not. Not. <laughs> Chris, you got a shadow fact? Yeah. I think my wife's about to walk through. No, maybe not. Nope. She got scared. Somehow I wanted to be, I guess, John. Wait, wait, wait. John has a wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be funny. She's about to walk Partly, through. <laughs> yeah, like it's all like stuff that's happening like around me. This is just John what's happening to you. And... <laughs> no. John. <laughs> John, um, one of his ulterior motives and something he's been running on the side, it, it, every once in a while on this mission, people haven't noticed, but he's been texting someone as J-Bone. Okay. And partly his, his reasoning for coming down to the Bahamas was to was to stash uh, money that he's he's trying to hide from the cult. It's a oh, huge tax yeah. evasion scheme. <laughs> yes. He's trying to keep it in the islands so that the government can't tax his donations. <laughs> Air quotes. <laughs> I love it. He's reactivated J Bone persona. Yes. Okay, now my wife really is walking in and ruining takes. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined. Ruining. Completely ruining oh my, my God. life. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, maybe next week. <laughs> What did you say? <laughs> I love that though. I feel like it was like John was the one really pushing going to the Bahamas. Like maybe Tina and yeah. so are trying to yeah. figure out another way to do this. Exactly. And, and for like, a minute, no. I was like, maybe I should reveal this in story. And I'm like, no, this cult thing is never going to get wrapped up. <laughs> How about you, Justin slash Sosu? Sosu uh, cannot tie his own shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> He, you know, 15 years ago, he woke up with no memories of his past. And one of the things that he uh, forgot was how to tie his shoes. But if he were to tie it, would he double or single knot it? That's the real question. All of his shoes are either slip on or Velcro. Or Velcro. Nice, dude. I love it. I'm imagining like the Napoleon Dynamite moon boots. <laughs> like a squishy uh, moon That's boot. so sick. That's hilarious. An extensive collection of Crocs. Dude, uh, Crocs... I'm sorry, but Crocs are awesome. They're stupid and ridiculous, but they they are comfortable. They're the best. I mean, they're amazing. Dude, that's so fucking funny. That's amazing. Once you go Croc, you won't, you won't go Bob. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking about Crocs, guys. All right. How about I get you guys into this world? Let's rock and roll. Let's do it. John, Tina, and Sosu had just ventured deep down into the bowels of the Unizen yeah. Inc. headquarters into a top secret underground it facility. It stinks down here. <laughs> Dungeon <Dungeon-dive. laughs> I don't care what you smell. <laughs> down in the bowels of the Unizen Inc. headquarters into a top secret underground facility in search of Thorber Bradshaw. That's right. The brother of Leah Bradshaw, 
Tina Bone Meal's long separated love of her life girlfriend, also casual, hot, and steamy bathroom fling. For Johnny Boy. <laughs> bathroom fling with John. And also the uh, sugar mama for So Sue, because she's been paying him quite a bit to be on her stable of, of runners. Yeah, way more than the other two. Way more. Way and, uh, more. <laughs> Fucking whiz, you know, can, I'm just, you don't have to answer how much, but do you know how much she's paid you, Sosu, or is this just like understood? Uh, Sosu doesn't count it. It's all going to his debt. <laughs> yeah, it all goes to the mom. <laughs> He's not going to see a dime of that money. <laughs> That's so sad. It all goes to the He's mom. He's an indentured servant. <laughs> and he kind of hopes maybe it's going toward the principal. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going just towards the interest. <laughs> I just imagine like his bank account. It's like a beeper, like or a pager. Yeah, like so he's, has the worst deal. It's it's a variable rate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's it's one hundred percent towards it, interest, like plus whatever, and then it's like instantly <laughs> minus that. Like yeah, <laughs> early payoff penalty. They're gonna make him have children soon, so that his his you can oh, sire shit. new beings to to pay off his debt after he's dead. <laughs> Yeah, they're just going to clone him. Yeah, the mafia creates their own, almost like medieval society of, like, permanent <laughs> peasants. <laughs> That's awesome. Jesus. The gloves are off, and the building is now on high alert. Okay. As the three have blasted and monofilament whipped their way further toward their goal. We ended last session with Sosu meeting Thorber's persona within the air-gapped systems matrix. Yes. He seemed surprised to hear that Leah had sent you and relieved that she was still alive at all, having tried to hack into the system herself and nearly getting cooked by black eyes. That's right. He expressed worry that if she were ever to be caught, she'd be tortured and possibly subjected to what they'd done to him. He also revealed that he was being held captive within the system, his meat body located somewhere within the facility. <laughs> he proceeded to hold off the approaching black ice while Sosu hacked a data store node and acquired a map of the facility. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we have a map now. And yeah. that's where you guys are. Yes, you have a map now. Sosu acquired it in some hot and heavy hacking action. And Thorber is holding off the black ice. That's what he said, right? Like, he went off and, like, hero did some hero shit. He did like, some hero shit to get by uh, Sosu some time. Yeah. To do with his magic there and get you guys this map. So now you yeah. guys have this map, and I actually am gonna I'm gonna reveal it to you because I realized nice. I didn't put any of my stuff on it anyway. Uh, I hope that, that Sosu's actual map is the literal hand sketched with pen and paper map that we have <laughs> here, is. and like Th Thorber <laughs> like sketched it out really hastily. That's awesome. I love that you went to pen and paper with a with a pen on like a, a piece of toilet paper that they gave him in in, in his cell. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So we've probably only hit about 30% of this dungeon so far. Uh, you got about half. We'll call it half. Yeah. All that and yeah, all go, of this. from the elevator you've, you've done. Last session was a lot of <laughs> a lot of other stuff. So now you're yeah. actually like the fucking pressure's on. And uh, you're in a room right now with a circular floor to ceiling computer terminal. Yeah. Like a half circle almost. There's a little way we can walk into it. And there's a mm -hmm. seat in the middle where there's now a dead Decker that Sosu fucking killed with his shuriken. <laughs> yes. Stuck his shuriken in this dude's head and killed him while he was still jacked in. There's two bodies on the ground, one with its arm chopped off from Sosu's monofilament whip. Yes. You just came in from the northeast door. You'd seen yep. five cots in the room before with two bo yep. dead bodies on them and three unconscious, almost in a vegetative state, bodies laying there. Yeah. Tina, you found pamphlets said the Universal Brotherhood in their back pockets. Yes, that's right. Yes. There is a door to your southwest and there's a door to your northwest. Can I run a, a, an intelligence real quick? Yes, you may. I want to know if I have, if Tina's heard of the Universal Brotherhood before. Oh, so you did roll for that already last I th okay, episode. Okay, so I rolled it last. I thought it, maybe I rolled it last and time. And you yeah. had. You had heard of it. Yes. John, give me your intelligence. So, so two. Target number four. I have a five, three, and a two. I've got a five and a six. All right. So you all have actually heard of the Universal Brotherhood. It was a cult, yeah. kind of like a Scientology, Church of Scientology cult. It came about about 10 years ago on the dot and blew up, like somehow got funding from places just like Scientology, actually. Just a lot of loaded people became believers in it and just exploded this thing. John's like impressed. He's like, whoa, <laughs> oh, Universal Brotherhood. Oh, these guys are good. They know what they're doing. John's like looking over Tina's shoulder at the pamphlet. Tina's like flipping through it. But. About maybe two years back, some kind of scandalous stuff came up, but it was all very murky and it got kind of covered up. And now you don't really hear about them anymore. Okay. I mean, everyone knows what it is, but you don't really see them around anymore. Like you can see buildings that used to be a church of Universal Brotherhood headquarters. And it's like kind of like an old KFC yeah. <laughs> that moved on. <laughs> You're like, no, that was a KFC, but it's not a KFC anymore. Like WeWorks. Like we <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that old company WeWorks. 
<laughs> Sosu's just unjacked from this conversation with Thorber. I can't remember what I said at the very end of last episode. I think it was uh, something along the lines of, uh, I think Thorber wants us to kill him. Mm. <laughs> Sosu. <laughs> Right, yeah. You told us. That's it. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm, pre- I'm pre- pretty sure. Like, he seemed. Those are exact seemed words. Pre- uh, m- yes. <laughs> he is going to roll an intelligence <laughs> to see if she, something's not sparking her quite right here. All right. Two fives and a two. Uh, what's your willpower so soon? My willpower is a four. You beat it. Tina, you can see through it. Something's clicking for you. He started off as a dark, kind of odd cat, but <laughs> someone's been pulling him deeper and darker the further we go into this dungeon. There's a dude with a shuriken in his head in the chair right next to you. But Sosu didn't need says, to do it. She doesn't but did know it. if Sosu's actually jumping to conclusions or if she, he's trying to lead her astray in a nefarious way. But uh, but she's not quite buying into the. I love how naive <laughs> Tina is. Yeah, like John yeah. knows the guy's a little psycho. Yeah. I don't know, Sosu. Did you hear him right? <laughs> <laughs> Still doesn't think it's his fault. He's lying. But now we know that there's an armory and a barracks over there. Yep, because Sosu got the map. You guys also walked a perilous walk through fat cockatrices, as Don called them, uh, that were here as a security measure that will paralyze you with their gaze if you if you see them. Oh, yeah. And they're, they're in cages with slits at their eye level that all came down right, when the alarms right, came off. Right, but you guys right, made it through. And we, like, sprinted by him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now understood. Sirens are, they're not blazing, but the floor tiles were white. And when the alarms went off, they turned red. The floor tiles are these, like, light that are, like, glowing red with, like, this pulsing uh, alarm going off. Okay. So you know oh, shit's going down. You can hear the fucking turrets going off and, like, killing people that are going into that first room that you guys had tampered with those turrets. Like, shit's going on. So, Sue, did you get any tips as to where he might be on this map? I, I didn't. He didn't. I don't think he knew which room he was in. So it's just a crapshoot. I've got the map, but uh, it's. It, I'm going to assume it's one of the rooms with the computer terminal in it. Yeah, I'm going to guess that's about right. Not the armory or the barracks. So the, to, to explain to our viewers what they're looking at, there's obviously the string of rooms they just came from coming from the north. Yep. To the south of them, there is a string of rooms that lead to what look like computer terminals they have to go west to start going that direction first and then if you go straight north from the room they go west in now they'll see an armory and barracks leading back into the freight room that they we have all of our weapons in. now right yep so we want to head southwest i think through that door yep. is, is the goal is that door locked is it an open doorway is it a closed doorway it's a closed doorway just a observation here but this room with all the boxes looks an awful lot like the cocktrice room but we've got a computer terminal before we get there yeah. I wonder if we should put like a bomb or something in the armory so we could like blow all the munitions, kill all the troops that could maybe come after us. I don't think that's a horrible idea. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe we plant bombs as we go further into the dungeon. So as we run the fuck out of here, we can set them off as we go behind us. And maybe we see what's in the next room, see how much of a fight it is, and then head south. Good idea. I like that plan, Sosu. Because the problem is if we preemptively blow the armory, we have one less route out of here. If we blow the armory, we got to go back to cockatrices again. Yeah. Those turrets are taking care of the things north. That's right. The turrets are programmed to kill everybody but us. Surely there can't be that many more people in the barracks. Surely. I don't know. But I agree with you. I think we need to get into that room and see what we're dealing with before we go fart around. Then maybe John can plant a bomb on the door of the armory or something while Sosu goes into that next computer terminal. Yeah, I could do that. And Tina can run interference. If you're going to that southwest room, you open up the door. It's not locked. Okay. You walk right into an L-shaped room. Yes. You are coming in from the east side of the bottom of the L, looking west, yep. and you see a security guard. There's two doors on the south side of the L. You know, obviously a hallway leading to the right going north. Yep. They both see you. There's two guards in there. One guard runs north and takes cover behind kind of the hallway there, the corner. Yes. The other one opens the first door closest to you on the south side of the wall and runs inside to your left. Okay, he runs into that doorway. Yeah, and you can hear him shouting, Everyone get into your cube! Get into your cube! Fuck. Oh, shit. Get in your cubes. God damn it. Are we supposed to know what that means? There's an office farm in there. You guys can roll me some initiative, please? Initiative, 1d6 plus 4. I am a two plus four is a six. So 17, is that possible? That is possible, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you don't remember. It's pretty standard for John. It's pretty been a standard while. for John. It's been a while. 
Six plus five. I got 11. Is guard two still in the room? I only see one in there. There were two guards. One ran left through the doorway, the first doorway yeah. to your left, and then one went right and just took cover around the corner there. So there's two guards. Okay. They're both going to be So they're both fighting us then. Okay. Yep. John, you're going first. I think it's a John move to just run in there and fucking fuck this guy up. <laughs> fuck that dude up, man. Let's get it started. I'm going to use my Aikido because I'm ridiculous. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like you, got, you got both fucking SMGs. Just drop. They got like slings on around your back. You just drop them and just start like running. First episode, baby. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So I can yeah. roll seven dice. Is that correct? Yeah, no, wait. You roll your Aikido skill. You're rolling seven dice. You can add from your combat pool. Which I'm fucking going to. Yep. You can add up to seven. <laughs> I'm going to add three because I'm being a little stingy okay. right now. And you're going target number four. See it. Okay. Three sixes, two fives, a four, a three, two twos, and a one. Oh, fuck. Six successes. He got two successes. That'll work. That'll work just fine. So you got four net successes on his ass. Now he's going to roll against how much damage you did to him. So what's the damage on your hitting? I think it's strength moderate, Ruin, I believe, is your is your damage. So what's your strength? Five. So he's going to roll against target number five to stage down from a deadly wound. So he's going to roll his body. He's got fucking nothing, dude. No successes. You just yes, killed him. Yes, I knew it. Fucking deadly wound. Hey, tell me how you kill him. <laughs> I'm going to do the classic John running Mortal Kombat flying kick. Kick him right in the head. The fucking Liu Kang bicycle Liu kick. Kang. <laughs> John somehow curves his body around the corner in midair. Liu Kang bicycle kick. How about that? Yeah, bicycle Fuck kick. Yeah, I was thinking the flying kick, but yeah, let's do a bicycle Tina, kick. Tina, Tosu, you're kind of peeking around the corner. You see this dude. He's got cover, and he sees John coming. He wheels around the corner to try to shoot John, but he doesn't account for how fast John is. And two fucking kicks split his helmet off. First kick splits it off his head, and the second one sinks the toes of smooth bochu into the fucking like unibrow area of his fucking face like sinks it in and kills it crunch kill what boots are you wearing john what are you wearing we always love to hear what john's wearing oh yeah my my slip-on loafers i just buy (laughs) boat shoes sockless oh absolutely sockless so you're wearing a security guard outfit actually from upstairs but underneath it you can see the hawaiian shirt poking out and the wig might be a little (laughs) the chest hair (laughs) i imagine like you remember like galaxy quest by the and, end and where that a gold chain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sticking through the prosthetics. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine John's real hair is poking out from <laughs> the blonde wig now. And, and I have like a Magnum PI gold chain. Oh, <laughs> J-bone. <laughs> Over like the perfectly sculpted chest there. Exactly. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take his cover too. Nice. Alright, that's, that's John's possible. turn. That is possible. Getting yeah. shit done. Who's uh guard one is dead. Sosu. You're up next. Okay, uh, can we see into this other computer room over here? To the southwest? Yeah, that room. The second doorway? You cannot. That should be closed, actually. Okay, so that is, is a, a door. door. Closed okay. door. Yep, okay. there's a door. Do there, I see sorry. anywhere I can jack in into this room? Not in this room. You can see little ports next to the doorways. When you're looking in through the doorway you're coming in from, there's two doorways on the left, right? The first one's still open. That's where that other guard ran into. Into the cubicle The room. one right past that is closed. Every doorway has a little Star Wars control pad that you could jack in. And we can see that that far doorway is a computer room. Sweet. Okay. Uh, so Sue's going to run over to that spot in between the two doors, and he is yeah. he's going to check to see if that computer room door will open. It is locked. If he can, this turn, he's going to try to jack in to the door lock. But you will not be going into the Matrix until next turn. Yeah, sounds good. Good idea. Sassy more last. So guard two, looking out of the room he's in, he has a perfect sight on John, who just kicked out and killed one of the dudes. Yeah. He just sees Sosu slink past the doorway to the left around the corner. Yeah. Um, he's going to take a shot at John from his spot. Fucker. Now roll some... You, you saved here. yourself some combat dice, Christian. I did. Two successes. SMG he's shooting with. Oh, no. 16 meters. Oh, actually target number five. So he only got one success. SMG is 7M. John, now you will roll your body against the target number seven. You can add whatever remaining combat dice you have. Yeah. Okay, my body is four. Use them all. Use them all. I'm going to use them all, of course. Don't okay. worry, Dan. <laughs> Dan's always... Use them all. Use he's them all. coaching. Yep. Uh, target number seven. Three fives, two sixes. Yeah, baby. So you got two successes. You just staged that yeah. down to a light wound. Okay. You get like a fucking bullet goes right through one of your calves. And you're just like, fuck! Like, it hurts, but it's like... But John's used to that. He's used yep. to getting fucked. John's, he's used to getting fucked. <laughs> Do you want me to go, ah! Actually, he has a semi-auto, so he can fire again. Oh, what? Shit. Wait, he's firing another shot? Yep. At me? 
Oh, you little fuck. And he missed because his highest was a five. He needed a six. Hell yeah, dude. His recoil <laughs> glances off the fucking rock hewn wall. It is now Tina's turn. Tina Bone Shit's meal. happening fast. Like, Tina she sees meal. the dead body that John just took out. She saw John get fucking shot. Tina runs over, picks up this dead body, turns towards the south, towards the doorway where the gunfire just came from, and she starts running at the doorway. Tell me what she sees, but that her action is going to be like to throw this fucking dead body at the guy who's shooting at John. Okay. And she's going to well, throw weapons, Okay, and she's going to throw this body. <laughs> Wait, why? Because Tina. she's a fucking so, troll. Tina, you're going to be able to get to about here by the time you're able to throw this fucking corpse. But as you turn, Tina sees red, but not an actual red because no one farted. Right. But she is in the moment heated. She runs over, grabs this corpse, and turns around like in troll mode, like ready to fuck this guy up. And she realizes that this dude is fucking 20 meters away. <laughs> okay. So she, you can see when you're looking straight from where you're at now, you can see Sosu on the right side of the doorway, jacking into a thing. Yeah. Straight through the doorway that you see the guard in. Yeah, what do I you see? You can see these like clear cubes, like look like cells, but they're plasteel, glass, whatever. Yeah. On either side, just rows of them going backwards on the other side of this long rectangular room. Yeah. And this guard is standing it right in the middle and he sees the troll for the first time. Yeah. Like he just took a shot at John, feels pretty good. He got a shot off and now he sees this massive fucking troll now that I know what the distances are, Tina picked up this dead body. She's just going to use it as a shield because she's not going to try and fucking throw the thing 20 meters. Like, that's yep. not going to happen. Yep. And she's just going to unholster her T250. She's come to call it her Cogburn. Love it. She, she unholsters the Cogburn. It's a bit of a distance for a shotgun, but she's going to go ahead and just take a shot at this guy and see what she can do. All right. Good. Roll your T250. So I'm going to do my five dice and five of my combat dice to go with it. Five new combat dice. So you just made the medium target range, so you're going to go for a target number five. Oh, shit, yeah, dude. We're not going by spread rules. Spread rules makes things get less powerful as you fire them. Sure. Yeah. We're not dealing with that shit. So you're just shooting a slug straight down the fucking alley. Not technically accurate. Okay. No, you're throwing a fucking hot dog down the hallway. Well, let's just say she has a slug. Yeah, she's she got, has the, slug. got the slug. She's got a slug. Six and a five on my original dice. On my three combat, I got three more sixes on my combat dice. Woo! So I got five total successes. All right, there. he's going to yeah. be rolling his body against what's the fucking shotgun it's like a 10s 10s yeah. rolling against a 10 Woo! the guy that john oh. killed like shat himself smells kind of like a fart and tina's just seeing red right now oh, no nice dude fucking successes this fucking slug just goes like fucking right into his neck Fuck oh, yeah. perfect shot straight at him and gets him right in the fucking throat hell yeah we're back in business <laughs> you hear shrieks from either side of those cells, women, children, men, you're like, oh, oh, oh. you hear like fucking panic shrieking. <laughs> I like how you go through the whole <laughs> list. Women, children, men. Even men can have emotions. <laughs> <laughs> They're getting a little worried about. <laughs> I think Tina's going to turn to John because John's right behind her. She's going to say, I'm going to go take a closer look, but I'm not going in there yet, John. If you want to go see if you can get in that armory. All right, I'll go check the door. Can I check the security of the door? Yep. What's Sosu's plan? He's going to go into this computer terminal. Right as Sosu jacked in, he saw you get hit in the thigh with a bullet. Yep. So he gets sucked into the Matrix, and the last thing he sees in the real world is you get shot. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. He's going to rage. So Sue's just like... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Imagine like Neo's voice where he goes through the telephone. It's like, no. He goes yeah. through the fucking matrix. <laughs> I'm just going to hang out by that door. Okay. And I suggest Tina hang out John's to the entrance the of door. the other door, but definitely yeah, don't go I'll, in. I'll hang out by the entrance of the other door in case anybody tries to fucking rush out of there at us. Yeah, like we've got this place covered. Okay. And Sosu's room is like a dead end. I got the south door with my dead body shield. Sosu, you fly into the Matrix and you see, again, it's this very rudimentary, very basic, very sleek utilitarian system. It doesn't have any of the yeah. fancy bullshit. It's just glowing cubes of information and unsettling feeling about that. Like this place means fucking business. Oof. Everything's crystal still fucking clear. You remember seeing Thorber's persona and you could see like emotion on his face and shit. It was so sharp in this system. That's bad. The whole space around you was this red thrumming yes. happening because you know the alarm's going on. God damn, dude. What's your sensor rating? You want to roll your sensor for me? No one makes people roll sensors in Shadowrun. I know you guys care about this and I think that's a shame. They say that those sensors don't do anything in Shadowrun 2nd Edition. I'm going to argue that you make them matter. 
Use it like perception. Come on, people. S- right, Chris? Sensors Come on, people. Five. Yeah, that's right. Sensors. Censorship. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. I'll agree with that. <laughs> I got a six, a four, a three, a two, and a one. You can see in your Decker experience are what look like white ice, but they're moving around. And you know Anybody that- Anybody got any ice? White ice. <laughs> white ice doesn't move. So there's ice masked as white ice moving around, searching actively in this active alert, looking for intruders. You can just see it zipping around, looking for things. It doesn't notice you yet. Look. In front of you, you can see uh, the slave node of this doorway. All right. So if I move towards it, do I need to do like a sleaze or a... Yes, sir. Ooh. Christian. Yeah. We could, if we get that armory, yeah, we could have a fucking shopping spree and pick up some nice shit. Well, that, that's what I was thinking. Some weapons we've never seen before. I assume that there's a fuck ton of people in that barracks, but what if we could like barricade the door? I don't know. I'm just thinking crazy. Can I ask you this, Ben? Between yeah. the armory and the barracks there, you've got obviously a doorway. Can we see on the map that we have that it would be a Good closed question. door between them? Or does it look like an open hallway into the barracks? It looks the same as any other doorway. With a door on it. So a smoke program looks like it stimulates a burst of high volume system activity that obscures perception around the persona. Does it say by how much? Running a smoke program requires a simple action, but no execution test. The smoke program's rating is added to every target number needed for test made by anything the node it occupies, including the deck's own test. Oh. It hurts me too. So it's like a smoke grenade. Yep. Okay, so I'm just going to go straight towards the slave node. Crack it. Immediately go for deception. You're fast. Or Shetland Pony starts rearing up and you f- <laughs> flying toward this fucking node. And you're already, your hand, fingers are flying on this keyboard. You're executing your deception program. And before you can even do that, you're seeing the ice barrier shift into what looks like a dragon head. What? And it starts to open its mouth at you as you start to approach it. And you know you're looking into gray ice, possibly black ice. As he's running towards this dragon on his little Shetland pony legs, he just possibly watch John die. <laughs> yeah. He immediately goes from deception okay. to an attack. We're all going guns a blazing. Uh, a full on jousting lance appears in his, his oh, arm yes, as he rides towards this <laughs> dragon. He's going to attack the ice. Target number four, you can use whatever your attack program rating. While he's getting that going, Tina, you're looking yes. into this room with the cells on either side, and you're seeing people peeking around each corner from yeah. inside the cells looking at you. They all look like normal people, different races, different, you know, meta-human races. The bodies that we encountered in the previous room, are they wearing those same, like, outfits? Yes. They're wearing light blue okay. jumpsuits. The, bre- the, the brotherhood And you can shit. see barcodes on their sh- shirts and stuff, no. and they're all looking. One of them is a like a 12-year-old boy, and you hear him whisper. What does this mean? Does it mean the queen's coming? And they go, shh. Tina shouts into the room. She's still got her dead body shield up. She's like, if you guys are in trouble, blink twice. No blinks. Just glassy stares. I think Tina has learned everything she needs to know just now. But they are still kind of trembling. I mean, you're holding a corpse. And there's a dude still dying, holding his throat, like gurgling I love in how death. Tina assumes that everyone just thinks she's a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah. Say, say she's like a dog that thinks it's a puppy still, but way too big to jump on people's laps. And huge. Shit. Just huge and menacing. <laughs> Terrifying. Back in the Matrix, Sosu, you're flying up on a fucking dragon face. And you're going to attack it, you said? I love them. we're all in our personal dreams. Journeys. Yeah. <laughs> Not even a team, really, right now. John's texting somebody still throughout. We don't know who. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I am setting up my account. Got shot. Talk later. <laughs> yeah. Make sure you have extra blow Nova Coke for me. My leg really fucking hurts right now. The guy's like classic J Bone. <laughs> Tina's gonna say, John. She takes a slap patch out of her uh, back pocket and just like fucking ace cards it across the room and just Fuck like yeah. spins it at him and like slides the floor all the way across the floor to John and like tucks in in his boot. First use nice. of first aid equipment in the entire game. <laughs> I just saw it on my list a half an hour ago. I was like, I gotta use this today. John, you can slap that baby on and if you do so, you remove the minus one penalty to all of your skill checks. All right, thanks, Tina. You got it. Nice. Slap it out. So that means I have no wound anymore? You're still damaged, but you don't take penalties while you're wearing this thing. So you can push through and get through the, this thing and then heal later. Thanks, Tina. Bone meal, I'm just going to give her a wink. Tina just gives you a big old fucking grin and she's still holding this dead body. And then I'm going to go back to texting. <laughs> <laughs> Tina gives a blink back because she still can't wink. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
<laughs> okay, so Sue, how'd that roll go? I've got a six, a five, a five, five fours. That ain't bad. How many is that? How many total? Eight. Fuck. Eight. Nice. So you needed four successes to get past the system. You did. Then four net successes. That takes this thing down to fucking six pips left. You just hit it fucking pretty hard. My lance drives into its neck. Yes. Whoa. I'm just screaming the entire time. Right after <laughs> it drives into the neck, it switches over into a long sword. Oh, sick. Wow. Damn. <laughs> we haven't seen Matrix Battle yet. We like got a taste of it last episode. So it's going to roll its rating versus your Bob. It got one success, and then you will roll your, what's the MPCP of your deck? You have a rating of 10, so you can roll 10 dice Holy versus shit. system rating of the node versus three. Fuck. 10 dice versus target number. Fuck yeah, dude. Let it rip. Rip it up. A six, three fives, a four. Yeah, you, you stage There's going to be like a vending machine it, on the other side of this door. After yeah. all of this. <laughs> it comes at you and, and misses. Tina is going to get brave. Okay. And she's going to like inch into this room, still with this body up, just to kind of read the room. Like, what are these people going to do? See if she can observe a little bit more. She knows these people are standing in these fucking cubes. Mm -hmm. They're staring at her. They didn't blink twice, so they obviously don't want her help. <laughs> obviously. Uh, she wants to see kind of what's going to happen. You're walking in. Oh, the GM. The floor is all white light underlit. Yeah. Four foot by four foot tiles are just lights. Yeah. And where the body that you fucking hit in the neck is still kind of slowly moving less and less, but bleeding out. The light is red where the blood's running over this fucking light, and it's just kind of this eerie sight. And as you walk into this place, you see yeah. on either side of you, there's 10 total cells. They're all clear plastic, yeah. floor to ceiling, cubes. And as you're kind of walking past all of them, they're not saying a word. They're just back in the very back corner of each of their cages. One each in each one. One of them has like a couple. It looks like maybe they're yeah. married. Another one has a small family with a 12-year-old son with them, and they're all kind of holding him and cowering back. What the fuck? No one's saying a word as you're just sort of walking past all of them. Holy shit. John, what are you doing? <laughs> I think I'm staying by my door still. Okay. I, I'm thinking of going into that armory, so I'm not in the room with him. Sosu, you gonna attack that thing again? Yeah, that dragon, it snaps right at me. It misses. Sosu is going to once again swing. Now it's a sword. He's gonna swing his sword. You swing your sword, attack program, plus hacking pool, dice, three and above. That's six. Six successes. So you have to six successes? Net successes over four. Two net successes. You take two more pips off this fucking thing. Oh, yeah. The sword slashes at it and chops off a couple of its teeth. Electric numbers and fucking crazy glitching information flowing out of it like like blood as it kind of rides and does like a digital squeal as you hit it. Fuck, dude. Digital squealer. It's going to take a swipe at Sosu. Three successes. Now you will roll your resistance. Ten versus three. Eight. Nice. Four net successes. That stages down is three and cancels out. You fucking dodge that one too. It snaps at you and the fucking gap where you just cut a hole in its teeth like you're able to fit right <laughs> in it when it snaps at you and misses you. John, the doorway you're standing next to opens up. Fuck. And a guard is surprised that you're standing right there. Ugh. But you're ready for him. You get a fucking surprise round. What Fuck do you do? Fuck yes, dude. I'm gonna fucking choke this guy like solid snake. <laughs> <laughs> Roll your Aikido skill. Seven. Target number four. Any combat dice you want to add to it, you can. I don't need to. <laughs> I love Chris. The door is open but John is more surprised than the guard is, but the guard is almost as equally surprised. And just oh, fucking shit. It's like in his face. I got a five and a three, but everything else was ones. <laughs> oh, shit. You got one success on him. That's a hit. Oh, actually, he needs to roll against you. <laughs> you got one success as well. That is still success on your end. He's going to roll his body versus... Oh, I got an idea. I actually What's have a plan strength? of what I want to do. Fuck you. Yeah. I want to grab him and use him as a human shield and then face into the armor. Yes. Oh. Only him with my gun. What's your strength, John? Five. You got a four. Hell. Yeah, yeah, you are able to fucking land a moderate wound on him as you human grab shield. and choke him. And got him now. Spun around. Now I want to face into the armory and see if there's anybody in there. You are staring down racks and racks of, like, submachine guns, and you see a couple automatic shotguns on this fucking wall. Automatic shotguns? Automatic shotguns. Pull the trigger okay. and fucking shotgun rips continuously? Yep. By the way, I'm using Holy my silenced shit. fachete pistol to his head. Oh, sick! Fucking golden eye style. Yeah. <laughs> You're scanning for enemies, obviously, first and foremost. And what you right. see in front of you is just 
carnage. Mm. People moaning and groaning and holding themselves. Moaning. A couple of people trying to resuscitate somebody else, but they look oh. like they're just as bad. Blood, just gore, slicked floors, leading all the way back through the open doorway, leading through what looked like barracks with bunks, more bodies and, and mangled corpses. Fuck yeah, dude. All the way through to where you see one person start to try to crawl his way back through the double doors, and the, you hear the fucking turrets go off and just disintegrate. Fuck yeah, dude. Turrets. All the guys in the barracks were trying to go out to that main atrium, and they got fucking mowed down by the turrets Our that so turrets. Programmed. Oh, it's yeah. been like a year since I played this. I forgot about those. <laughs> yeah. You see that the guy that you just hit, it, he actually had taken a wound as well, it looks like, already. But wait, the turrets are shooting into the barracks? They were shooting what they could hit, and people had crawled their way back into the barracks, and just like, they've either died oh there or they're dying there. Oh yeah. my god. Probably a Fuck, good like dude. 10 to 12 people, just fucking groaning or dead. And they're soldiers or women and children? No, 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 they're soldiers. They're, they're, they're soldiers, guards. Right? That's funny. <laughs> so Sue's just got a huge Man. boner. Formento, formento boner. God. And the guy says, let me live. Oh my God. Let me live. Let me live, please. I just, I don't, I just work here. I just work here. Okay. Get me into this door. What door? This what This computer door? terminal room. You spin him around? Yeah, I spin him around. Oh shit. He's like, I can't get in there. I can't get in there. That's the, that's the Decker operations. I can't get in. And who can? Sorry. But who can? <laughs> Only he can. He's a fucking asshole. Where is he? He's in there. I, I, I assume he didn't come out to help us. Who's he? Fuck. So I, 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 I didn't mean to yell. Right, who are the people I, in that I didn't room? Mean to yell who are you, the people sir? in those cages? Those are the volunteers. That's the Brotherhood. Brotherhood members, you know. Where's Thorberg? He looks at your security suit he and he sees the Hawaiian shirt. He's realizing you're not. Oh, he's got a gun to his head, but also, <laughs> also he's like, yeah, you don't know. Is his name Thorberg, by the way? <laughs> no. No, not once have you ever gotten his name right. No one has. Thorberg. <laughs> I think only Sosu has. I knew as soon as Dan laughed that it was wrong. <laughs> You had it right a it's second Thorber. ago, yeah. Thorber. 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 Where is he? Where is Thorber? The, the dwarf? The dwarf? I can show you where that is. Yeah, sure, sure. Fuck He's yeah. back through there. Through there. On the very south edge. You show me where he is, you can get the hell uh, out of here. Fuck. Okay. And he, you can tell he's like, he's having some haggard breathing. He, he's got like maybe a wound <laughs> on his side already. Bull from... meal. Raid the arsenal. You got it, John. <laughs> And right before she turns, as, as we pass each other, we do like a just no look, like slap <laughs> high five. Yes, yeah. the full windmill, top gun high five. And then, and then and then we do the one down. We do the yes, like the one on the down too. low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Full windmill, up top, down low, behind, and then like you yeah. just like wiggle your fingertips together yeah. Yeah. as you walk by. The dude like sees all of it. Like Tina <laughs> walks in, sees all the fucking dead bodies, and she just takes her dead body shield and just fucking tosses it <laughs> on the pile of fucking bloody corpses. Oh, and she starts shit. feasting in her eyes on this fucking armory and she sees everything that Ben had described before and when she lays eyes on these fucking automatic shotguns she holsters Cogburn and she takes one of these beasts off the wall she puts one behind her back takes another one in her hands she's got two fucking automatic shotguns it's like fucking doom. Uh, John doesn't need any more weapons here what else does she see in the room as far as weapons other than the SMGs and the shotguns all you're seeing are on the right side all automatic shotguns on the left side all fucking SMGs just like John has the um, yeah. H and Ks. So not a whole lot that I'm going to add to my personal arsenal. And I don't think that Sosu even wants a different Do gun. Do you have a remote so. mine? I'm like classic golden eye. Got grenades. <laughs> You're gonna try and Just blow a it? plant in there? I don't know if we want to blow it. This is like a nice avenue for our escape right now, so we don't yeah, want to blow this room. I agree. No, no, no. I think we go and hunker down so soon, just give him some cover while he finishes this thing off, but I mean, we know where Thorber is, right? Do we need to get in there now? Is the question. We might. To get into the to where Thorber is, we might need some doors opened up. If the corporate Decker's in there, we probably want to get rid of him before we try to get Thorberg out. Yeah. We can't just rip Thorberg out of the Matrix. We have to, like, get him out of the matrix from the terminal that he's at he's trapped in the matrix okay. i think if sosu can finish this battle and we can get through this door we can take out whoever's in that room use it as a computer console and get us to the last room where thorber is i think that's going to be what we need to do okay back in the matrix sosu you just dodged an attack or you just hit it actually and then it tried to attack you and yeah, it missed right yeah. is that what happened your turn again Okay. You gotta take this thing out. It's like glitching a bit as it's damaged. Like it's definitely over 50%, and you know it. Compile it on. Okay. Over target number three. Sweet. Uh, I just got four sixes. 
two fives. So six successes. So you got yep. two net successes. You fucking hit this thing. You tell me what you do. It's still alive, but it's barely alive. Uh, I rear up, you know, my front Chetland pony <laughs> legs do the full like old Western. <laughs> yes. And I jump using my back legs uh, straight into the air. Yeah. And my David Hasselhoff gleaming body just like catches the light perfectly yes. as I land on top of this dragon's head and drive the sword directly in between its eyes. Fuck, the yes. fidelity is so crisp. Like you can see the scales on this fucking dragon head. And the sword like goes right between two of them and sinks down inside. You can see light peering through the laceration you put in its head. Like the, the yes. cut. It lets out an ungodly wail, but it's still alive. And it turns Turns up at you to try and give you like one last death throws here. Fuck. Three successes. Oof. So you'll roll your MPCP 10 versus target number three. A six. You take two of its successes away, but it got one net success on you, so it, you'll add one pip to your persona. And you Damn. fucking feel this. And you're realizing you're against black ice. Oh, shit. And you guys, as you're looking at Sosa, you see blood run out of his nose. This fucking tooth, like, shards into your shoulder, and your meat body feels it. It bucks Oof. as yeah. you get the <laughs> mental feedback from this fucking ice. Meat body. Tina sees this. She pulls another slap patch out of her back pocket and just <laughs> rips his shirt open, exposing his chest, and she's just... Pats that slap patch right square center of his chest. I love it. Tina defibrillates him while he's in the matrix. Of, yes. Like the lights can, can dim. Can she do that? Yes. I mean, it's a physical wound, so like it should be able to help him, right? It doesn't help his matrix persona, but it does heal his physical damage. Or at least doesn't okay. heal it, but you know, he's not going to get any penalties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will still suffer all the penalties in the matrix, though. Okay. All right. So, so you get one more turn to try and finish this fucker off. Okay. You better take him out. I'm very out of hacking pool, so here we go. We're going over three. Above three, that is five. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You get one on him. He's got one pip left. You fucking just... You it's fucking the do it. slog going on. The, oh, he's fucking Jesus. battling this dragon. <laughs> you guys are like tapping your feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't see anything. <laughs> yeah. uh, I imagine like Tina's like organizing the automatic shotguns on the ground. Yeah. Like, behind, like, <laughs> this one so it's true. like the classic scene in the 80s like horror movie where like the guy's got like the headphones on as he's like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> sweeping up and like, <laughs> like vacuuming and like someone's getting like killed and like, oh, yeah. like, like smashed yeah. through glass windows behind him and he can't hear any of it. Yeah. All right, so Sue, he's going to take another jab at you. Two successes versus five, right? Your Bob is five? Yep, Bob is five. Two successes. You guys try to stage that with your MPCP. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You stage all that down. You don't take any damage. Okay. And now you get to take one more swipe at this. Oh, so God. Do it. I feel like now at this point, like the combat turn has refreshed. Like, I should have put you in initiative. Three, three, if four, you get more five, than six, four seven, successes, eight, nine, you kill them. Nine. You kill this thing. Tell me what you do to it. I rear up, <laughs> jump up again, slam my sword back into that exact same spot. All four of my little Shetland pony legs rip backwards, and I take that sword clean down its head all the way out of its snout. Yeah, dude. It's screaming a digital fucking roaring, squealing scream. It's piercing. It's like fucking like echoing off of all the matrix space around you and digital. Yeah. as it's tearing through its head and it finally fucking explodes into light and Jonathan you just see the light on the door just go Bleep, turn green <laughs> 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 you're able to uh, yeah, get uh, this door open and John's like about fucking time Jesus Christ <laughs> Tina levels her automatic shotgun and fucking opens the door yeah the door opens uh, so, so you can see that somebody's been able to access the door I immediately jack out I look up to John I scramble to my feet and I try to give him a hug John like pats him on the head like okay nice <laughs> job you, you, so okay, you okay John you bet buddy I saw you get shot I, I thought you were dead I'm alright I'm all right. Now, what the fuck's in this room? <laughs> the, the Han and Chewie moment. We always get I'm that moment. Right. Like, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right, pal. I'm all right, pal. As you peek in, you're seeing all kinds of the same similar circular four to ceiling terminal of computers. Yes. A little like matrix chair. You don't see anybody in it, but you can smell the stale sweat of a Decker that's been there way too fucking long. And you can see cans of spooge Ugh. all over the fucking floor. <laughs> Fizzy goo packs on the floor. Spooch. Soy dog wrappers, all kinds of 
this shit. Just like junk, for like a fucking hacker has been in this room for a long time. Sosu wants to investigate the room real quick and make sure this hacker's not hiding in here. So, so as soon as you walk around like the backside of these computer doors, you see someone like fucking totally pale. <laughs> he's a little orc and he's like white. He's so fucking pale somehow. You don't really see many like super pale orcs. And he's like, he's like, I, 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 I'm harmless. Okay. Hey, take it easy. Hey. Take it easy. You're the Shetland pony, right? Hey. That's you. Yeah, that, that, that was me. Were you the dragon? That was my ice. Yeah, I designed it. Why was it? How, how, how did it do? It, it was pretty bad. It kind of sucked. <laughs> A little bit amateur. You see, <laughs> you see like anger flash on his face and he's like, circuit jerk doesn't create bad ice. Okay. What <laughs> It was perfectly fine. It wasn't the software. It wasn't the software, okay? I'm limited by the resource I'm given by the corporation, okay? It had nothing to do with the software, okay? If I could get all the, the resources that I've asked for, it would have been a perfectly feasible, perfectly effective oh, defensive oh, okay, mechanism. Okay, okay. Stop your blathering. Uh, hey, hey, Tina? <laughs> Tina, th- there's somebody who needs tortured over here? Yes, I do. No, no, no. Tina, <laughs> she's like, let me get the mouth. As he's been blathering to you, Tina has been walking up behind him. She picks him up by the nape of his neck and just lifts him up off the ground. Like a cat. And she takes her new automatic shotgun and puts it right under his chin. No, wait, wait. So, sir? But, y- yeah? <laughs> your call. Uh, what do you want to use it for? So, um... John just looks at the guy and he's like, these guys are freaks. Uh, so, uh, c- circus, uh, circus jerk? Circuit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Circuit jerk. Yeah, that's fine. What? Uh, <laughs> Circuit jerk. Circuit jerk. My hacker name is Circuit Jerk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you have Thorberg? Uh, Thorberg. How is he? Uh, Thorberg. Thornberg. Uh, trapped in there. Thornberg. You, you mean Thorberg? You yeah. talking about Thorberg? Yeah, Thorberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're hey, fucking don't, don't, talking don't about. Don't correct me, Tina. Tina, squeeze a little bit. You got it, so no, 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 no. Okay, I got it. Yeah, the dwarf. The dwarf. Uh, that was just my own kind of. You know, I I found there's some proprietary technology I use, but also some of the technology that he created was able to sort of uh, partition uh, his consciousness in a, in a way that we could kind of, uh, you know, limit his access back to his meat body. Okay, can we have the codes to get him out? What, what do you mean codes? How do we get his consciousness back in his meat body? Yes, <laughs> yes, you need me for the codes. <laughs> this guy's clearly lying. Tina, squeeze a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. Tina fucking takes her other, she holsters the automatic shotgun. She takes her right hand and she just reaches up, grabs this guy's balls and just fucking crushes. Oh, I think it's funny that I still have the other hostage. What am I going to fucking do with this guy? Dude's like fucking pissing his pants off. Tina crushes this guy's balls into a pulp. And you just go, oh, oh, he's not really giving the scream that you would, that so soon maybe you would, you would like, that you were maybe hoping for. He's kind of like, Oh, oh, <laughs> maybe not that, Tina. Oh, what is that? What is that? no. Is that pain or pleasure? Sorry, sorry. Wrong squeeze. <laughs> and this time she like squeeze and twists and just fucking like oh. de balls this guy. What? Oh. Are you kidding me? He's like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> There was a simple question. You know, okay, there's no code. There's no code. Did you just, you castrated him for real? Yeah, well, it's a, yeah, it's just a balls. Sure, just a bald him. Just <laughs> <laughs> him. He, he can do cyber balls. He'll be fine. Jesus. He'll be fine. He just faints in your hands, Tina. He just faints from the fucking pain and the shock. And he just, he's all Tina cold. takes out one more slap patch. God damn, you're and cruel. And slaps it right on his chest. Can I can I wake him up with a slap pass? My hostage is just watching this. I'm yeah. like, I should just be like, just get the fuck out of here. You shield his eyes. <laughs> Turn your head, son. I'm gonna let him go. Just get the fuck out of here, dude. He just takes off running. All of a sudden, we hear the turrets like spool yeah, up yeah, again. Yeah, I was about to, I was gonna do that. You, know. <laughs> you see him run the opposite direction, like the way you guys had come from. And uh, Tina, yeah. roll me your karma dice. How many karma do you have? Ooh, uh, that's a great question because we burned some when we were diffusing that. Bomb. That doesn't matter. Roll me your total karma. We're not, we're not having you actually roll karma. We're going to actually okay. have you rolled a luck roll. I have two good karma. Classic Pink Fohawk. We've moved two rooms. It's been two hours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I got a six and a five. It wakes him up. Fuck yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no. How no. do we get his soul back into his meat you body? You just unplug him, you dipshit. <laughs> that works. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's, he's so disdainful toward you. You stupid troll bitch. You just unplug him. Why didn't you let me die? Just let me die. Wish granted. She takes her fucking fist and just pounds it into his face so hard that she hits his spine. Jeez. You just punch through his head. <laughs> just yeah. like a melon. <laughs> Everything goes back to melon. Did you just hear like a, oh, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> She turns back to Sosu and John and she says, we just got to unplug him. Yeah. It's kind of, it's kind of surprising. I, I, I figured it'd be some fancy code, but I guess not. It seemed like he was explaining something different altogether there. Like we had to put his consciousness back, but apparently we just pulled a fucking plug. I hope he was being honest. I already knew. For some reason, <laughs> John already unplugged it. Yeah. Uh, this thing. <laughs> so you guys start walking. You oh, finish God. this dude off. You punch straight through his fucking yeah. head like a fucking rotten pumpkin. You just can punch right through his face Jesus. with your 10 yeah. strength. He's dead. The other dude, John, let go. He went to run back toward the other area. And he's just thanking John. He's like, thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Uh, thank you. You're fucking awesome. And he runs <laughs> and goes back through where you guys came from. You're just still hearing kind of the whimpering of the people in the cells. Yeah. Again, you can you walk right past them and you're seeing them all kind of like cowering away from you all. There's a mixture of fear but curiosity on their faces they're not afraid of you yeah they're just more they've not seen anybody like you before they're not really responding like if you know tina you'd ask them some questions and no one was really responding Tina just kind of eyes him as she walks down the hallway and just taps her new uh, automatic shotgun toy just to tell him, didn't say a word, just says, say the fuck out of my way. Nice. You know what I mean? Nice. We came here to deal cards, fucking sit down. And they walk down this hallway and they get to a doorway at the very south end of this room. Mm -hmm. Is it a closed doorway? When you walk up, you can see through it. It's a glass doorway. It looks like maybe like ballistic glass. And you can see inside this room. Yeah. There's another circular fucking terminal. And you can see Thorber Bradshaw and oh, he's yes! suspended in no the air fucking way. by chains. We fucking found him. <laughs> it's only been like a year. <laughs> and he's got huge fucking bulky cables plugged into his head. <laughs> Seriously, has it been a year? <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> Tina turns to you too. Listen, guys, I know we're all going to do whatever we can to get paid today. But no matter what, you got to get out of here fucking alive. I told Leia that I'd bring him back. And I'm going to do it, but you ain't going to do it if it means Mid your life. Mid-speech, John just unplugs. <laughs> <laughs> All the lights on the terminals. That's awesome. In the middle of the the talking. I'm sorry. I just thought that'd be funny. <laughs> You're like, I love you guys. <laughs> so he's going to pull out his Ruger Super Warhawk. Nice. Oh, shit. You have a Ruger Super what? Warhawk? And Sick, he's going to be like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Get him out of here alive. Wait, wait a minute. What are we, what's this mission? Wait, no, this I, is fucked up. This is self defense. Hold I've on, said hold on a second. I'm defending you, myself. Are you here to kill this guy? Are you here to kill Thorn? No, Thorn Crack. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him out of here. What are you doing with that gun? So she's gonna walk through the door towards uh, Thorberg. Tina. Oh shit. Tina's gonna grab him. She's heard enough here to finally trip a trigger. Like. She's suspicious. She grabs Sosu by the back of the neck and pulls him back through the doorway, turns him around. Not too rough, but she looks right in his fucking eyes. What did Leia pay you to do? So, save her brother. Tina, Tina, like, Tina, John, like, she paid me to save her brother. That is very true. Don't trust this son of a bitch all of a sudden. <laughs> Sosu, my sweet boy, my sweet boy. <laughs> As Sosu looks over at John, he feels bad. What the fuck is happening? He looks between Tina and John. He goes, I'm sorry, guys. What the fuck? Once I found out what Thorber was trying to do, I decided I was going to kill him when we found him. But why? (laughs) This is. Why? I didn't. I haven't killed him. I'm not going to now. I feel bad. (laughs) If he cures all the beetle addiction, then how am I going to make money? Sosu, I understand. Sosu, don't worry about it. This guy hasn't invented the cure for this shit. (laughs) And I promise. I will always buy your beetle, Sosu, but you're going to have to hand me that gun right now. And the monofilament whip. <laughs> I'm not going to do that, Tina. Sosu? You can have the gun. The monofilament whip is mine. <laughs> John? <laughs> you to John for some guidance here. I, I, I'm just going to unplug this guy. <laughs> You just see him suspended. He's unconscious, <laughs> hanging up in this room ahead of you with these glass doors you can see. You haven't gone in yet. She turns to Sosu one last time, and she just says this. She says, Sosu? Yeah? I've come to know you. <laughs> I've come to call you my friend. I love you, Sosu. But if you kill Thorber, I will end you. <laughs> 
okay. I, 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 I won't kill. I know you will, Tina. I won't kill him. I promise. Guys, we've been waiting here for a year. Let's go talk to this son of a yeah. bitch, please. For the love of Let's God. Let's go unplug him. I won't kill him. I promise. John's still texting. He's like, so wait, he's not going to kill him now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, reach forward and Sosu, you're able to, you know, when you killed that dragon, these codes flew out of its head and shit. You, you got information that this Decker had implanted in this fucking ice. And you know the codes to get through this fucking door. And you just tap in whatever the code is and the fucking glass doors open up. Yeah. You hear the soft hum. Everything else has been like hewn stone. The walls in this kind of triangular room you're staring toward yeah. are all computers. The cables coming out of his head, there's about a dozen of them, and they're all spidering off into the different supercomputers on the sides of the walls and shit. And back behind him, you see another huge circular room yeah, separated by more huge bulletproof glass doors. And you can see four other circular computer terminals in that room with four other people no way. suspended in the air, just like Thorbert. No shit. You can hear the soft hum of the computers as you're walking into this room. Hmm. Tina just kind of like doesn't break eye contact with what you're describing and she kind of steps up next to John and just kind of whispers to him like, John, we need to shut this whole thing down. We can't leave this thing running. We're here for Thor. Thorber. Thor. Thor. Thorber. Thorber. That's a tough name for, I guess. Thorber. Thorber. Let's just get him out of this thing and figure out what the fuck's going on here before we just shut everything down. We don't know who these people are. I want her to roll like a willpower or something just to be like, because she wants to do that, but she also wants to shut this whole scheme down. Why? Because she's got some bad ideas of what the fuck's going on in here. They leave four other people who are like a Thorber's equivalent. This thing could still be fucking evil. We're not getting paid to help the rest of these people. It's just Thorber. Come on, Sosu. Help me get this fucking guy yep, out of just, here. Yep, just pull that cable right there, I think. <laughs> As you guys guys do that i want to roll something to just see if tina <laughs> yeah, can yeah. like tina you're you're like conflicted with your conscience as john and <laughs> sosa just go about unplugging this ship from this dude's head john's pulling, you're the pulling cable. these cables out and i mean they're deep like fucking <laughs> probes in his head and they're all Flash. coming out <laughs> so she's dry heaving the entire time he's doing this it's just Going deep into his fucking like brain stem, and oh, you're pulling oh, the shit yeah. out. Wait, I mean, I didn't think. I thought but that... as you're doing it, like the little ports are closing as you pull them out. But I mean, these are long probes that have went deep into his nervous system. But as you Fuck. pull it out, their little patches close. Yeah. So it's not like you're leaving open wounds. All on right, his all right, right. Okay. As you pull the last one out, he goes. Ah! His eyes shoot open. Yeah. Ah! Ah! He starts like screaming, looking at your face. John, you've seen this look before. This is like fucking Vietnam 2 flashback trauma you're seeing here. He's <laughs> like, like, easy. He's down. Ah! He's down, Thorberg. Who are you? He's down. Who are you? Ah! Who are you? John Anderson. <laughs> oh, I don't know. My name's John Anderson, but you can call me J-Bone. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm so Sue. I was, the, I was the centaur you met a little bit ago. Oh, and he, the recognition flashes across his eyes there, and he's like, oh, yeah, the, in, the, in the Matrix, Leah, she sent you. Yep, yep. Not to kill you. <laughs> She's alive. And he starts to weep. But he's, he's like, hanging on you, John. He's hanging on you. And he's like, starts to weep like, She's alive. She's alive. Oh, she's most definitely alive, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> He kind of doesn't know what that means. Take a bump of this to make you feel alive, too. Oh. Little Nova Coke. Tell your friends about J Bo. <laughs> oh, oh. My friends. My friends. And he turns around and looks through the fucking doors behind him. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh my god. And as you guys kind of, now you've been focused on Thorber, but as you look through the glass and you see these guys, yeah. you realize they're naked, first of all. He's not naked. He's in like a blue jumpsuit like the fucking other people. They're naked, but they've got weird disfiguring characteristics to them. Oh, a no. couple of them have bony spines sticking out of their shoulders a bit. What the like, fuck? Like almost poking through the skin. Oh a couple god. of them have what look like flesh-colored mandibles. Ugh. And another one has about maybe four or five eye stems sticking out of its fucking head. What the fuck? Oh my god. They're just kind of like writhing. It's like that like Ugh. alien resurrection. It's like, alien, kill yeah. me. <laughs> and he says, oh my god. What do we do, Thorbear? What do we do? He pulls the Ruger Roarhawk out of your hand, Tina, and he walks over and thumbs through the fucking glass doors. Fucking just one by one. Kills the first one. Kills the second one. 
kills the third one. Before he takes the fourth shot, Tina pulls out her automatic shotgun and just fucking lets it rip on the fourth body. And just <laughs> fucking peppers that thing. He's about to shoot it and it just blows apart. And, and he's, he's like, like oh. what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we needed that one. He's never going to have the catharsis of uh, finishing off his last friend. Yeah, what an asshole. <laughs> oh my God. She turns to Thor and says, you're not in this alone. I needed to shoot something. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slug. That's why it didn't spread and hit you. Target number six from this distance. <laughs> We're going to get you the fuck out of here, Thorber. I'm sorry, my friends. He looks back at them one last time. And he looks at you, Tina, with tears in his eyes. And he hands you back the Ruger Warhawk. And she throws it over to Sosu because she trusts him now. Really? I had to watch as their minds were preyed on by... I don't know what, but these bastards used my technology to make them mindless drones, and then they became whatever this is. Jesus Christ. Hey, uh, you owe me three bullets? Those are kind of expensive. <laughs> what? Don't, don't worry. Don't worry about that. Okay. O okay. I got you, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see in this room, as you were looking at them, you see holes burrowed into the stone. Yeah. Six of them. You can see them on the map, too, that you download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see inside the holes, there's kind of almost like metal. It looks plated going down into these holes into darkness. They're probably about a meter wide in diameter. Yeah. The glass doors, you hear them close shut. <laughs> And you can see all of the people that were in the jumpsuits are just all in a line staring at you through the glass doors. No fucking way. And they're all standing on the other side of the door just staring. You see the 12-year-old boy just in the front staring at you through the fucking <laughs> glass. Tina runs up to the door and just pounds on the door and just like <laughs> stares at him. Just <laughs> keeps fucking pounding. They don't flinch. I knew we should have killed them. <laughs> Fuck. Should have listened to this little psycho. And you start to hear skittering and buzzing coming the from the holes in the walls. No. And you hear it getting closer, the thrumming closer, closer. Son of a bitch. What the fuck do we do? Thorber, what do we do? Oh my god. <laughs> I've been having nightmares. What are those things? Hives. Hives writhing with bugs. Oh my god. <laughs> and he's just in frozen in terror staring at the holes. And you can hear the like, skittering getting closer and closer to the fucking holes. And you see what looks like a fucking six foot tall wasp start to poke its head out of one of the holes and looking at you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck? How the fuck do we get out of here? Can we open these doors? Roll initiative, everybody. Oh my god. We're gonna, I'm going to give you a surprise round, but you're going to roll initiative to see who goes first. Oh my fucking god. God damn it. Two plus four is a six for Tina. Six for Tina. So soon. Eight. Sixteen. We can stay and fight, but there could be thousands of these fucking things. Like, I don't know if we can fight these things. John, you're first. You can hear and see that these bugs are coming out of these holes. I think it's funny if that guard is also creepy and he shows up and, like, looks at, stares at me. And I'm like, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> He's there, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, that's funny. Son of a bitch. Tina, immediately in front of you, you can see that there is a terminal on that side of the door. Yeah. John, you and Sosu are literally standing in the middle of this circular room where you see a wasp peek out and it's starting to claw its way out of this hole and you're hearing more of them coming. I'm going to throw a fucking grenade at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. You pull up a grenade. What's your throwing weapons? So if you don't have throwing weapons, then you would use your quickness. And we'll use the skill web here. Quickness is seven, though. So Two, they can go four, suck six. it. So it would be a target number 10. But you can use your combat dice. To throw a grenade? Throwing is going to be tougher for you because you don't have that skill. Then I'll use three combat dice. So I have 10 to roll. Okay. Come on, six. Come on, six. Come on, six. Actually, you know what? If you're using your quickness, then it's only a target number eight. A six, two, five. That one six just saved your ass. So roll the six again. Three. Woo! Yes! Your hands are still slick from handling that dude with the blood on him and shit, but you throw this thing and it spirals out of your hand and flies right over and lands right behind that fucking wasp inside the hole. Oh, yeah. It was a tough target number. You rolled a fucking eight. Fucking A. Uh, it doesn't go off yet. What else are you going to do? You're going to stay put? Your complex action to throw, so you can't shoot this round, but you can move. You're going to run toward it. I, I guess I'll take cover behind something if this fucking grenade's going to go off. I'll tell the other guys, take cover. So, Sosu, now it's your turn. So Sosu's going to run towards the glass door. Okay. He's going to dive over the computer terminal. <laughs> yeah, shit, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a terminal jack in there. There is a jack there. Dive over yep. the computer terminal, land on his knees, and just Sick. slide in, whipping his keytar keyboard around. <laughs> Power slide. Right as he ends his slide, he's going to stick his little wire into the wall. Okay. Tina, it is now your turn. I think Tina's just going to throw some fucking hurt bombs at this door. I want to test it. I want to test it with her strength. And she's just going to start fucking pounding on this door and trying to rip it fucking apart. Uh, roll me your strength. Ten dice. Barrier is going to be bulletproof glass. 
Oh, it's armored glass. Reinforced armored glass. That's target number eight. She only got one six out of those ten dice. So she's gonna re-roll yep. that six. Got a six. Yes. Hell yeah, dude. Okay. He rolls that for a 12 for another five. Woo! Got a no. 17. Yes. Damn, that's sick. Okay, so you roll, you, um. One half meter hole is opened and the barrier rating is reduced by one. So complex. So I'm going to say that the barrier is now a rating seven. You fucking hit it. You, feel, you see some like hairline cracks inside the glass. Yeah. But it doesn't break through. But you brought yeah. that rating down now. You weak. That was my turn. Okay. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thorber's up. Thorber is going to run over. He was about to jack in. But he sees Sosu did a fucking power slide and jacked into the fucking wall. Fuck yeah, he realizes dude. in that moment just like how tired he is too. Like it's probably for the best. Yeah. And he kind of like slumps down on the ground behind um, cover next to John. Now, roll initiative again, everybody. Six plus six is a 12. No, six plus four is a 10. That's not bad, Tina. That's, that's her best roll ever. But I mean, still, you only get to go once. So she got a six. 15 plus nine, 24. Woo! Hell yeah. Norbert got a seven. And now we also have Wasp. Fuck. I'm so excited, man, for fucking wasps. It's always bad when the Game Master gets happy. Yeah. <laughs> if we had just chosen last session to fuck Thorber and fucking get out of here, we could be sipping mojitos right now. On the we could have just, just killed like, all those people, live no witnesses. We could have just done that. We could have just done that. Yep. Now I'm going to. I'm going to fucking win. <laughs> as soon as I get a 16. hole big enough in this glass, I'm throwing grenades in there. First up, John, it's your turn. You now have cover. As you start to pick up, the fucking grenade goes up, and you see that fucking wasp get fucking launched out on fire. It's like wisps on fire, Fuck. and it just kind of burns up. It's shell and shit turns to like fucking dust as it fucking flies up in the air and blows up. Yeah. Fire continues down the hole. You see it illuminate down the hole, and you hear screeches as it seems to blow up a few others down inside there. Shit. But you see also two more start to peek out from two other holes start to come out. Ugh. I wish uh, it's a fucking nightmare. Tina, you don't have like a flamethrower. I've just, I've, you have so much shit. No. Okay. I just need to know. <laughs> no. I just needed to know. John, John, you got two targets. I'm like, you don't have hairspray and a lighter, dude. Nah. <laughs> you know? That's awesome. I'm gonna grab oats. Yeah, dude. I'm just gonna shoot at one of these fuckers. Your firearms, whatever Seven. your firearm is. Seven. Seven, plus whatever combat dice you wanna add. So you're gonna roll 13 dice versus a target number of, let's see what you're- Going for it. Do it. Waste them, John. You shoot at the closest one, I'm guessing, John? Yeah. 18 meters, a medium shot, target number five. I'm doing burst. Burst, target number eight. All right, I have two sixes, two fives. So the two sixes, re-roll them. Two fours. Nice. So that's two successes, which is sweet. It's gonna roll its body, which is ample. Uh. <laughs> I can use grenades, obviously. That's the game plan. Obviously. So when you fire burst, it adds three to your recoil, which made your target number harder. But it makes their target number harder to hit. I think it's 7M as the power of your submachine gun. That makes it a 10 plus 3. 10 serious, because it also stages up the damage. So they got to beat a target number 10 with a body of 2. Yeah, that was right. That's correct. That's two all correct. Two sixes. Fuckers. It rolled two sixes. Shit. Are you kidding me? And it rolled two fives. They got 11s. That's incredible. Oh, God, God damn. So it is able to stage that down from serious to moderate. Son of a bitch. Fucking three bullets fucking hit this thing and it squeals as it fucking like collapses down on the ground and tries to try to pick itself back up and its wings are kind of tattered and it's not able to fly. You got another shot, John, but you don't have any combat dice. This target number is going to be 10. A six. One, One six. six. Roll that six. You're looking for a four. I got a four. Yeah. Three fucking rounds blow off and hit this other one. Let's see what it does here. Wait, I can't shoot the same one. You can do the same one. You want to do the same one? I want to fucking kill this thing. All right. Fucking kill it. It did not get any successes. You fucking hit this thing again with serious wound. And that's on top of moderate. That's deadly. It fucking, you shoot it and it just explodes into like yellow fucking mustard just on the fucking wall. Nice. <laughs> you know the things about wasps is they're cannibalistic. Once wasps go down, other wasps come and start to feast on their carcasses. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's Wasp 2's turn. So this wasp is now going to fucking move, oh, and it flies over and snaps at you, John. No shit. Fucking yeah. five dice. Target number four. This is a melee. So you can use your Aikido, John, to Oh yeah, I'm gonna get oh, <laughs> yeah. that wasp friend that's going in. We need some friends in combat here, man. If you're in melee, if you have friends in melee. Wait, so I can use my Aikido right you now? You can use your Aikido right now. Hell you yeah. got three successes. Target number four. Wait, can I shove a fucking grenade in its mouth? Say cheese, motherfucker. I would let you do that. Yeah, fuck it. If, if, you, if yeah. you succeed, you can throw a grenade in its mouth. So I rolling still my seven of keeps. But if you do this, you're not going to do any damage to it. So just get the grenade in its mouth. If yeah, you, that's if fine. If you succeed. 
Okay. Uh, I have four fives. That's four successes. You beat Shit. it. It okay. had three. So you got one net success. It's gonna roll its body to try and stage that down with your damage is strength moderate. I guess I just need to succeed. I'm gonna shove a grenade in its mouth and say, say cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it only got one success. So you still, I was gonna see how severe you're able to do. Do some damage to it. You get your fucking fist and you, you actually shove this thing pretty far into its fucking like gullet. Gross. It snaps its beak at you and you fucking shove this thing in its mouth far enough that it's like retching. It's like, Ugh! it's like trying to get this thing out. <laughs> say cheese, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Does it really make sense? You feel its throat muscles tense around your hand and like its gag reflex like forces your hand back out But the grenade is like stuck. I'm gonna do a sick backflip <laughs> Sweet J-Bone your wig flies off <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, the wig is gone. Wig is gone. The jig is up. The wig is up. All right yeah. That thing has got a fucking grenade in its throat. Yeah, and it's kind of like now standing on the computer is like Because <laughs> I can move like, still yeah. right? <laughs> I can move still. Yeah. 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 I'll let you do a backflip. That's sweet. Okay, so now it is Thorber's turn, and he's just gonna stand up and like shove that fucking wasp backwards. Oh, nice. So he's gonna roll nice. his fucking strength. Does he? He's probably weak as shit right now. He actually got one success. Nice. He fucking shoves it and it falls backwards down behind the computers now. Yeah. And now it is Sosu's turn. Do it, Sosu. Sosu, you just got the spark flies. As soon as that spark hits when that jack goes in the fucking port, like your consciousness fucking falls upwards into the fucking matrix. It's still all three drumming red. Okay, and I'm just gonna straight up attack this node. Roll your attack rating and you can use your hacking pool dice with okay. it. Versus target number three. Eight successes. So that's four net successes. Okay. Nice. What's your evasion? Four. Got four successes. So okay, you successfully slash right through this fucking like gate on this square of information on this node. But at that same time, you just see a fucking cone of red light fucking buzz on you. And you see a fucking full-on black digital dragon start to fly at you. One of the ice that was roaming around actually sees you. God damn it. You now have access to the node, okay. though. Tina, your turn. How many wasps are currently in the room and alive? Just the one that's got the fucking Just the one that got throat. knocked back and has a grenade in its mouth. She does some calculus on this. She doesn't know what's going on with Sosu. She's going to turn around and throw another fucking hurt bomb at this door and see if she can't fucking crack this egg open. All right. Roll your strength versus target number seven. No sixes. You fucking hit, but you just feel this one didn't quite do the same oomph. Um, fucking Son thuds. Bitch. Yeah. The fucking grenade in front of you goes off. You guys don't see it because you're down back behind the computers. Fucking mustard blows up on the fucking ceiling <laughs> and the stench, the stench of dead wasp juice, like gallons of it, rains down on top of you all like you're just fucking like Fuck. covered in wasp guts. To Dan's point, three wasps fly out of the holes and start feeding instantly on the dead one right inside the area. They're going crazy with the fucking chum. I told you about wasps. I told you, John. I told you. <laughs> yeah, you sure Two did. Two more you sure did. start feeding on the bodies of the suspended in the fucking room. They start fucking eating the fucking corpses <laughs> yeah. and shit, The too. corpses we shot. Two more ignore all that shit and start to head your direction. Yeah, there's a lot God of wasps. Damn. And the sound of their wings is is like, it sounds like a fucking like drones. Like, it's just like a, you can hear they're so fucking long. Large. John, it's your turn. You're up. 24. So how many are there again? Two that are paying attention to you. There's about seven in the room now, in that big room. But they're feeding yeah. on things, and two of them look like they're starting to fly towards you. Wasps. Why did it have to be wasps? <laughs> Are there doors between our room and the next room? The big glass doors that you guys opened, yes. Can we close those manually, or do they have to be, like, fucking... If we can close these doors... A big set of glass doors that were there before Thorber opened them and went in to shoot his comrades. I'm gonna shoot one again. Roll your SMGs. Well, you have rating two, right? Smart Link, I think it is. Minus one, minus three recoil. What do you have listed in your gear? Do you have recoil compensation on it? Like gas vent? Yeah. Or something? Gas you vent. do fucking a okay. So you're actually mitigate. What's how, what level of gas vent does it say? Minus one, minus three recoil. You are going to be rolling a target number of three. Do it dude. to fire off fucking three bullets. How many fucking combat dice did I have? Six. So you roll thirteen dice. Target number three, which is pretty fucking crazy. All right, that's what I'm you doing. You get a second shot. You get a second shot too. Two sixes, four fives, nice. A three, and the rest are below. Seven successes. Seven. All right, rolling its body against fucking. That's plenty. Three bullets just pop, 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 hit every fucking, like, the sections of its fucking thorax. Yeah. Boom, boom, and they just pop like fucking balloons, like mustard explodes. You just oh, fucking fuck ex yeah. blow one of them up. You got one more shot, John. You can shoot another burst. 
This one's gonna be target number six though, because there's extra recoil, but those recoil compensations badass. All right, well, I should have known that. Um, okay. Uh, two years in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we never paid attention to that. <laughs> Rolling. <laughs> I'm assuming you assembled all this back on when you're going down the elevator, you're like putting all this shit back yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, that was broken the whole time. Yeah, I finally got yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't get this plugged in right. There we go. Target number six. You have no combat dice left. Yeah, I though. didn't get a six. These bullets go wide and miss the other wasp. Now it's the wasp turn. It is going to fly over and it actually going to attack Tina because it sees a big fucking troll. Like John's popping out of cover and firing and shit, but it sees a big troll just smashing on this glass. Yeah. It's going to attack you. Bring it on. You can do it armed or unarmed, whichever you want to do to fight back with a target number of, you have a target number three because you have a reach of one. And combat dice. And combat dice. Well, I have to use melee. They got two successes, so you got to beat two successes. She's going to drop that fucking chain out of her sleeve and just start swinging it around Jesus her head Christ. as it fucking charges her. She just fucking slings and tries to wrap this thing up. If you're using the chain, you're going to get a minus two because it's got a reach of one as well. So you have a target number of two, and it's got a target number of five. You got one six. One success. All six combat dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got 11. You killed it. 11 success. <laughs> it comes down and it's got mandibles and it snaps at your face. But as it gets close, that just allows my chain to be even closer to it. I get like four extra wraps around its thorax and I just fucking baseball swing, pull it, and it like fucking spins the thing as the chain like unwraps <laughs> from the fucking thing and it just slings it into the fucking wall off to our right. Nice. Hey, roll me a strength. Sick. Target number seven. Six, six, six. Only one six, but that's an automatic seven. You're like, like bam bam like <laughs> slam this thing into the glass and you see more fucking cracks in the fucking glass as you smash it up against the fucking glass doors. Fuck yes. Target number six on that fucking door now. Nice. So suits your turn. You're okay. up. You got a dragon flying at you but you have access to the node. You can try a system operation right now on that. Okay I, I just want to open this door. You just have to roll your computer skill versus target number three. You need four successes. Four successes. Nice. Like you're fucking moving fast as this dragon is coming at you and you're able to like just in time, touch this thing and it fucking glows green and the doors fucking open. Fuck yes. Open up. I immediately jack out. Woo! And like I could feel the dragon yeah. like snaps right behind my head right as I jack out. Nice. Sick. You fucking disintegrate from the matrix. Yeah, it, it snaps at like basically like your digital signature just after you <laughs> and it fucking like flies off into the node. You guys are all aware of each other now. Sosu's jacked out. Doors fucking fly open. The people on the other side are like cower back now and they go back into their cells and are hiding against the walls. Oh, you little fucks. <laughs> and you hear the beating wings of more fucking wasps coming out of the fucking holes. And Tina just says, move, move, move! <laughs> and she grabs Thorber by like the back of his fucking pants by the belt and just like ushers him towards this crowd of people. And she just starts bear clawing these people to the side. Nice. It's like people are like being thrown up into the edge, like the walls of these glass walls and shit in these cubicles. And she's just like running down the hallway with Thor. Shit, yeah. What are you guys doing? I'm so soon trying to keep up with Tina. Same. You guys are all running through. You guys make it to the end of this long rectangular room with the cells in it. Yes. You feel one of the wasps like snap at you, John. Roll me your fucking, um, your Aikido as it snaps Seven. at you. Target number four. Five, two, fours. Nice. So three successes? Yes. It also got three successes, so it actually succeeds. Fuck. And now roll your body versus target number three. Uh, two sixes and a five. You're able to stage that down to a light wound, but it gets you and fucking clamps onto your shoulder and tears a piece of meat off your fucking shoulder. So, ah! But you're able to knock it off. It didn't sting him. It's just like bit him. Like, Fuck. So you guys are still running, but this thing is fucking now. It's like kind of falls behind a little bit and starts like chewing the meat that it pulled Wait, off. Wait, with that unarmed, can I use my fucking shock gloves to shock that little fucker? <laughs> Fuck yeah, yes. dude. Yeah. Just give it a little fucking taste. It meleeed you, so you can melee back. We're out of initiative, but you guys can do what you want to be doing as you're running. Fuck yeah. Would you get right, a six? Is it more than four? How many? More than four, three. It got one success that so you connect and you do two net successes to it. It's going to roll its body versus what's your shock weapon? Shock that what's shit. The damage on that fucker? Uh, seven S. Seven S. <laughs> Dude, that's This thing's serious. got your meat in its mouth and it's chewing it. It's like, oh, it's got a little blood on it. And it looks up right <laughs> as I'm you like, fucking. I'm going to sting this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> sting you, bitch. Oh, backhanded like Rick James. <laughs> Rick James. You fucking smack it and it goes rigid as it fucking wings like shoot out 
out as the shock courses through its system, and you see like smoke coming out of its carapace. Yeah. You sizzle it a little bit. It fucking falls over on the ground. Yellow shit falls out of its mouth as it's on the ground now. Oh yeah. There are more buzzing. You gotta look up just in time to see like fucking a horde of them flying still at you guys. <laughs> They're like eating all those the fucking cultists. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like the kids get like picked up and like torn apart. Yeah. It looks like a fucking sprinkler of blood. Just like oh they're all God. getting eviscerated by these fucking wasps because they're flying oh through you guys. Jesus. It's a horror As we're scene. sprinting, Tina turns to Sosu and says, Sosu, did you also put Thorber's name in the computer with those I, I turns? I did. I did. We, we did do that. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> I do remember he did do that. Okay. I'm like kind of looking at Sosu like, <laughs> do I believe him? Did I get my fucking shoulder chewed off for no fucking reason? I'm getting that money, you fucker. <laughs> As we exit this room, Tina turns and just fucking slams the door shut behind us. As you run in there, you see the guard that you let go, John, and he's sort of like, hey, guys, uh, what's go what's going on in there? Wait, where were we? The armory? <laughs> yeah, you're, now you're right outside the armory. You're in the L-shaped room just before okay, the yeah. armory. But Tina closed those doors, and you're just hearing fucking skittering and slashing, and you're seeing the doors, these metal doors start to get dented in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. We're not stopping here. We're going to keep fucking going. like, oh, shit. And it just runs straight through the armory. Oh. Yeah, we're running straight through the armory, but yep. I'm going to tell the guard, like, hide somewhere, you fucking beautiful bastard. <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, where do I hide? Where can I hide? Did you, the turret, did you turn that off? <laughs> no, not for you, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, no. You just, like, run past him, and he's spinning around as he goes past him. And as you make it to the armory, that fucking double door is blown open. And the wasp just descends on He's like, ah! He seems just get fucking shredded and torn to pieces. John, you just see a single tear roll down John's yeah. cheek. John doesn't look back. No. Just, the tear comes down. He's, he's sprinting like fucking T-1000 sprint. Yeah. There are wasps now starting to close on you. They have, I'm just going to tell you quickly, their quickness is 24. Holy oh shit. Oh my God. You thought fucking hellhounds were fast? Get to the turrets! Get to the turrets! <laughs> uh, one comes up and snaps at you, Sosu. Oh boy. <laughs> Actually, let me roll. Oh, let me roll. No. Actually, I'll let John roll. Roll roll me a D6. Two or less is John. Three, four is Sosu. Five, six is Tina. Two? That's you, John. Son of so a So it bitch. snaps at you. John's got two light wounds. Obviously using everything. Target number is five for you, actually, because you're wounded. I'm going to try to shock the piss out of this thing again. Three sixes. Oof. A five and two fours. Ooh, you just beat him. Nice. Strength was five. Okay, so you do a five. And you're, you're using your shot gloves on. So if you're doing a keto move with the shot gloves, you could do more. What's your shot? It was 10S, right? 7S. So I can use my Aikido for unarmed combat? With the shot gloves, perfect deadly combination. You actually staged that up with two net successes. You staged up to a fucking deadly. So it's got to roll its body to try to mitigate seven damage. One six, so it does bring it down by one, but that doesn't stage it down. As you punch this thing, you do like a throat punch with the fucking shock glove. You see it's like outline of its fucking like carapace. It lights up. You cook everything inside its shell. Oh, shit. Like you fucking hit it. It just fucking shocks the piss. Yeah, out. dude. It's like a glow bug. And yellow <laughs> shit blows out of its mouth again. And it falls on the ground. The stench of these dead bugs is just fucking disgusting. It's wretch, oh making a wretch. But this one dies right in your hands. You motherfucker. You guys just make it in to the other room. And as you do, the cloud of fucking wasps descending, like the sound of what helicopter rotors of fucking wings, so many of them coming in. And these turrets just open up. And I mean, you're between the turrets and these bugs. Hit the deck! <laughs> John's like Vietnam flashbacks, like yeah. kicking in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thorber's like, what? Oh, he gets blown up. No. <laughs> Tina hears John, and her, both her arms just go out. One grabs Sosu, one grabs Thorber, and like presses them down to the ground as Tina just fucking belly flops on the ground. That barracks, by the way, was so coated in gore and blood. Yeah. That like when you jumped through, like you're like sliding on your stomach like through this fucking doorway did the blood <laughs> like slip right. and slide oh. sliding you out yes. into this fucking freight area now Easy. and these turrets just to open up on these wasps and it's just a sprinkler system of yellow mustard Fuck. shit just yes. blasting everywhere squeals fucking ketchup and mustard that should be the name of this episode <laughs>
<laughs> ketchup and mustard. <laughs> ketchup and mustard. Uh, if people at home weren't puking by now, now they're definitely fucking puking. <laughs> ketchup and mustard. Dina is just like army crawling. At, they're all covered in blood. There's fucking wasp mustard everywhere, splattering the floor. It's a slip and slide in here. And she's got Thorber under one arm, Sosu under the other arm. I'm sure John's falling behind. <laughs> And she's just gonna start crawling over to the that freight sub door. John's in his own personal like Vietnam. <laughs> Fever dream. He's got blood like painted yeah. under his eyes like war paint. He's like crawling through like fucking Shawshank. Like sharpened a stick. Yeah. You can't even hear yourselves think. The roar of these fucking turrets. Double fucking auto cannons exploding these fucking wasps just nonstop. There's just more coming and it's just mulching them. Yeah. You can see the freight sub doors yeah. are to your left. John just instinctively starts rolling <laughs> to the left. <laughs> yeah, you're able to like palm the fucking door and the door open. And you can see inside is this mini submarine. Yeah. It's probably about six inch. <laughs> six inch. Sorry. It's Sorry. a six inch sub. <laughs> uh, it's, it's probably like a 20 footer. Yeah. But you can see the middle area, like where you're coming into, is like this freight area. You can see the scrapes of heavy stuff that had been unloaded or loaded into this submarine from the floor. Yeah. And to the front, you do see a row of six on either side seats and a captain's chair. Fuck yeah. John instinctively sits down in the captain's chair. <laughs> I love it. I'm like, make it so, so soon. <laughs> <laughs> make it so soon. As, as, as you do that. <laughs> Perfect. Tina puts a hand on your shoulder, John, and she's like, scooches in next to John. Way, John. These wasps are starting to fucking like pushing through. And Tina goes up to the sub door and just fucking slams it shut and spins that fucking wheel. I'm like, so soon, dive, dive, dive. <laughs> I, can, I don't make it so soon do everything. <laughs> I don't have the same words. Done. So Poor Sosu has been through so much real life drama. I just love how John can't do it. He can't do anything. But I'm sorry, he's just giving orders. <laughs> delegate, delegate, delegate. Captain J Bone. The hatch is closed. Get us out of here, Jack. Am I driving then? Yeah. You're driving it. Okay. Right. That makes sense. I have driving skills. You should right. jack into it, dude. You're I'm a rigger. Diving. You're a rigger. I'm Roll me. There's no jack for this. This isn't set up for riggers. You're going to use your driving skill, John. Just one joystick. And there's a bubble. Like It's like a, a life of aquatic sub where you can yes, see the yes. glass bubble you yes. can see outside I, I don't think i don't think it's a joystick i think it's just like an xbox controller <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. a logitech controller <laughs> yeah, logitech controller <laughs> that's awesome yeah made really made to for professional submarining it's got like the plastic banded connector to the fucking port like at a toys r us when you're playing the xbox like it's connected to the fucking console like yeah, that what the fuck skill web Oh, this is great. Roll your reaction. Wait, so my reaction's nine. And the target number's gonna be eight. Three sixes, three five. <laughs> Sosu, what are you doing? Sosu's just sitting back in uh, with Thorber. Both of them are just covered in this red, you know, blood and yellow. Ketchup yeah, mustard. And he, uh, he looks at uh, Thorber and just goes, I, I could really go for a hot dog right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thorber fucking pukes. He just starts to ratch. <laughs> he starts to like fucking puke. John, you roll those three sixes. You're going for twos. Five and a three. Yeah. So you got two successes. You're just like, okay. You start to push these buttons. <laughs> and the submarine starts to fire up. And it rips off this fucking, like, docking coil. You didn't yeah, undock it. It just, realize. like, rips this fucking thing off. <laughs> and you start to, like, awkwardly kind of, like, cockeyed. <laughs> try to stick forward and outward away from this fucking facility and you're seeing when you rip this off like you guys can kind of see out the like port windows yeah it tore that fucking airtight fucking doorway off and you just see the fucking like the whole inside just like vent out and water pouring yeah. and you see the wasps all fucking like floating out dark just cloud fucking bubbles yeah wasps yeah. in the water don't do well they're all fucking like Fuck. dead floating out of this thing like a huge cloud oh my god Shit. tina hunkers up next to john and says what's the plan captain j Bo? Get on the radio. I got some friends to go. You got it, Captain. <laughs> Tina dials up the radio in her head. She plugs into the speaker system on the submarine and starts tuning in to the right frequencies. John, you uh, you find a captain's hat on the seat next to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely put it on. <laughs> yeah, Tina, you, you're kind of messing with the frequencies, and you start to hear... I, I think they just moved from the... And you kind of are messing with it. And you start yeah, to go yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 
weapon. And the whole fucking submarine fucking lurches, and you see a fucking huge fucking harpoon smash into your fucking submarine, and these huge chains just fucking jerk you and pull you upward. Your vision's looking up. You see this huge shape of this massive hole from the bottom. No way. And it starts to pull you up toward it. And your ears are popping again because you're coming up pretty quickly, but not too quickly where you're going to die or anything. Pulls you up and you surface. And when you surface, you see a fucking massive aircraft carrier. Holy shit. With crossbones charred into the sides of the hole. No way. On the radio, you hear them say like, Open the hatch. Come out. On top. Okay, I open the hatch. John opens the hatch. <laughs> John instantly like hurts. <laughs> you all climb out on top and you see it's a war zone. There's fucking thunderous sounds of auto cannons and heavy artillery firing back and forth. And when you turn and look on the horizon, you see the Unison Corp building and it's on fire, completely on fire. And there's fucking tracer rounds of fucking things flying back and forth from the island. There's fucking planes and shit flying around. There's this massive fucking aircraft carrier and on, uh, on board there's a whole line of them. These pirates with all their yeah. weapons pointed at you. Yeah. And you sit in kind of an awkward silence room, but you're this little sub like floating on top. And you hear, Tina, <laughs> Tina. Leah Bradshaw pushes through. I thought it was Rory for a second. I thought it was too. I thought it was Rory for a second. Rory? Rory. Hey, dude, I bought an aircraft carrier. <laughs> I'm rolling with these pirates now. Uh. <laughs> no, it's it's Leah Bradshaw. She's like, yeah. Dormer, pull him up, pull him up. And they all start listening to her and they start to pull, throw down a ladder and let you guys climb up. Holy shit. As you climb up, there's about 60 fucking men. They're all haggard looking fucking sunbaked pirates. I want them to be like, J Bone? <laughs> 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 yeah, one of them, a couple of them looking kind of closely at John a little bit. He's got the Hawaiian shirt. He looks a little bit His different. His wig is definitely cockeyed by now. Yeah, he's got the wig on again with the captain hat over it. <laughs> she w hugs Thorber really hard. But I mean, there's a war going on. But she's like hugging fucking Thorber, like starting to weep. And she's like, thank you. Like to all of you. Thank you. She looks at Tina. I learned from the best. And she reaches over on your forearm, yeah. and there's a little tracking beacon that she put on your arm. Oh, and no Back in episode shit. six, if you would realize, she brushed your arm, but you did not roll <laughs> high enough on your perception. She tracked you this entire time. Jesus. No way. She takes it off. Nice. And Thorber says, I'm endangering everyone here. We have to go, Leah. I like this Deus Ex Machina ending here. You see these corp frigates start to descend upon this fucking aircraft carrier. She pulls out a bag and she throws three thread sticks, one a piece. One to you, John. One to you, Tina. One to you, Sosu. You flick it. You see there's 70,000 fucking million on this. Sosu, she throws you another one. <laughs> <laughs> Th thank you. Thank you, Leah. Little bastard. And she grabs one more and she's like, it's everything I have. I need your fastest fucking speedboat. Pyra says, it's over here. And he walks over and pushes a button in this fucking huge... He's like, this used to belong to Damon McManus. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he won't be coming back. He won't be needed. She's fast enough for you, old man. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't been here, and he's not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fucking massive cigarette boat, like a fucking sweet fucking speedboat. This thing's like top-end speedboat. Yeah. Goes down. Uh, you probably want to stick to maximum three if you want to get that thing up to top speed. Thorber starts to climb down to the speedboat, and Leah turns turns to Tina. Yeah. Come with us, Tina. Come on. Lay it bare. We can start fresh. We can start new. Lay it bare. There's never going to be another lay it bare. And I, I like to start fresh, but our story's special because it ended the way it did. <laughs> you got a future, Lay. It isn't with me. Tears are running down her face, and she's about to say something, and the pirate says, Get the fuck out of here if you're going to go. I can't leave my friends, Leia. You get safe. You get safe and you stay safe. She puts her hand on your chest, Tina, and then she climbs down the ladder and gets in the fucking cigarette boat. And they rip this fucking cigarette boat. You see it take off. I mean, this thing's hitting, you know, top and off, going about 60, 70 miles an hour. It's going faster and faster. I mean, right away, it's going fucking fast. And you see a couple of the boats beeline and start to get close to it. Yeah. I would like everyone to roll me a perception. Intelligence of three. Here it comes. I got a two, a five, and a five. A four, a three, a three, two, and one. Two threes and a one. Tina, you feel your satchel's a little lighter. Oh. And you look down and you see that some of your grenades are missing. And the next thing you see is that John's combat satchel is unzipped. So I noticed that. I don't say anything, though. The boats descend upon the fucking speedboat and they overcome it. Yeah. And as they get close to it, 
the whole thing explodes. It takes out no. both boats with it, and it's, I mean, it's a fucking, like, shockwave off the fucking water. Oh. All three fucking boats just explode. Thank you for listening to Pink Fohawk. New episodes happen. Until then, we'd be hugely thankful if everyone listening could post about our podcast on Reddit or Twitter or leave a review on Podchaser or Apple Podcasts or even just share our show with a couple of friends. That'd be awesome. Thanks again for giving us your time. It's the most precious commodity any person has. Pink Fohawk theme created by Colin Rufino. You can find links to his website in the description below along with credits for other songs used in this episode. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. But Thorbor was on there, right? Yeah. Why would he blow why would he blow them both up? I think he didn't want to get caught. I think he knew he was like Jesus. He was like the fuck he was like on a fucking atomic bomb. Like he didn't want to get caught. Oh my god. Dina's just been whispering to herself as she's walking to the edge of this aircraft carrier to the railing, and all of a sudden she's like it finally hits her and she gets louder and louder and she's just like, hey, 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 hey. John, you've seen men snap in Vietnam too. I'm glad you, I'm glad you paid us before that happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs>